Here we have loop ring symbol LRC. I wanted to follow up on this one because we called a top on it about a week ago. It looks like, yeah, I think it was somewhere around the 10th, 11th that we called a top on this one, the last video that we did. And I would still be sticking with that call right here. We did have extreme conditions on daily BBWP. So volatility likely to contract through here. We'd be looking for this one to make a nice leg down towards 215-ish region and try for a bounce there. Um, short term, if we go down to a four hour, uh, not strong, <laughs> you know, a little bit of a downturn right here on the four hour. Obviously we have declining highs, which is not great. We've got the same low. So technically a bit of a descending triangle. Not that I would put too much weight on this one just cause it's, well, I just wouldn't put too much weight on this one. Uh, but I, you know, I do think that this one will test the low $2 region and try for a bounce there. Would I be calling like a, a major low there? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. I think this one's probably topped out for a while at best, but I would be, I would be looking for a bounce around there anywhere around $2, even to 210 ish region. And, uh, and Hey, if the bounce gets bought back on up above uh, three and a quarter, which is a fucking humongous move, probably not very likely, but Hey, if it happened, I would get uh, bullish for Neil Tomas in this one. You know, in that case, I guess I'd be targeting uh, moves towards $5 plus, I guess. Um, kind of crazy there. But uh, again, I think that this one's a lot more likely to trade sideways and down from here. You'll see your bounces along the way, obviously. Um, but uh, what are other tire term time frames looking like? Yeah, five day looks like a major high. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one below two dollars in the next month or so. Um, I think this one's topped out for a while. I mean, basically, you've just kind of retested your 2017 highs. And well, it's very likely to pull back from there. And one of your bigger pullbacks in this case. Just curious to see how it's looking like over here as well. I'm, uh, I imagine they're probably going to be downside angled. Yes, they are. Daily Stokes down as long as both three bucks. Five day is actually not even down yet, but it's still up above one dollar, which is rather interesting. Two day, which is closing tonight, will be uh, downside angled below about three dollars. So yeah, I'm a lot more downside on this one on the uh, on the on the higher term time frames. Lower term time frames, you're probably going to see a bounce after the next uh, after the next uh, grind out to the low two dollars region. Hopefully, this ho hopefully that was helpful in there. You go for a loop ring, sir.